Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So I'm doing this one in 4 but this will also work in 5 as well and what we're going to be doing today is creating something in which a prompt will appear above an actor or an item telling us to interact with it or whatever it is which you wanted to say but it will appear above the item. So I'm hit play and shoot with the mate today so you'll notice I've got two cubes over here if I were to walk up to one it's going to say press E to interact and we can see it everywhere we look around it's just above the item and this will work for multiple items within the game as well. So this is what we're going to be going over in Creator today. It's very easy to customize to have it look however you want. So we can come in and out from a further distance. It can fade in and out. It can say whatever you want. But this is just a simple one which I've come up with an example just for the purpose of this video. So again, this is what we're going to be going over in Creator today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually create our widget. So to do this, I'm going to right click go to user interface, create a widget blueprint, and I'm going to name this very simply interact widget, like so, or prompt widget, sorry, I'm naming it prompt widget, and I'm going to open it up straight away like so. In here, what I'm going to do is add some text onto the canvas panel, typing in here whatever I want, so for me that's going to be press E to interact. I haven't actually set up interacting within my game, but again, it's just for the video. I'm going to size the content, and I'm going to anchor it to the middle of the screen, then just move this to be in the center of the widget like so. So I've got it there like that. And this is all I'm going to do. What I might actually do as well is give it a bit of an outline under font, outline settings, outline size of three, just so it shows up a bit better because I've got a white text on a white object. But I think that's going to be good for me. Again, I'm not going to do anything else in here. I'm going to compile, save, and close that widget. Very simple to set up there. Then we want to open up our item BP in which we want this to appear above. So you're going to do this for every single item you want or just the parent item if that's how you set it up. So for me that is the actor BP here. In here we're going to go to the viewport and this is what I've got set up. So what I've got is a cube and a box collision. I imagine you'll probably already have the box collision here because that's how the player will be interacting with it. They need to be close enough to interact with it. If you don't have that, very simply add component, add a box collision or a sphere collision and scale up to the size you want. So if the player is inside of this collision, that's when they can interact with it, and that's when they will see this prompt. Then we want to add another component, so I'm going to go to add components again, this time adding in a widget. And as you might guess, the widget class down here on the right is going to be the widget we just created named prompt widget. Now you should see this appear, if we to move this up, you can see it appears there like so, and go to the correct size. This is what we've got. So it looks a little weird in here, but this is what we have. The text we just put inside that widget will appear here and you can change the size if you want via the scale up here so if I to lock it and change it to 0.5 it gets smaller and bigger like that so you don't need to actually change the text within the widget you can do it here as well. And so then once you're happy with how this looks within this actor what you want to change is the space from world to screen. Now the reason why we did that after we set it up is because it obviously disappears now we can't see it but if we compile and save that this is now going to always be facing the player as you saw at the start of the video in the overview it's going to always face the player. So now we've got it so the prompt is above the object but we only want this to appear when the player is close enough to it. So in the details panel we're going to search for hidden in game and ticket so it's true by default the player can't see this. Then we're going to go over to our event graph, right click on our box collision, add event, add on component begin overlap, right click it again, add event, add on component end overlap. So now we know when the player is in and out of this box collision because again when they're in it we want to show the prompt when they're out of it we want to hide the prompt so very simply we can drag in our widget hold control to get it like so out of this set hidden in game connect that into begin overlap leaving it as false so we're not hiding it so we're showing it and then plug this into the end overlap again connecting into the widget this time ticking it so it is hidden so we can't see it now we compile save that should be the code completely done for us. So we can close this. I've still got my axes in here. I'll add in another one just to show you. And we'll hit play. Now if I walk up to this one, you see it says press E to interact with a nice outline there as well. And it's always going to be facing the camera no matter which way I look so I can always see it. And again, this is going to work for every single item we have within the level. And the bigger the box collision, the further away you'll be able to see it from. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can now have this on-screen prompt above an item in order for us to be able to interact with it and it will always face the camera so basically you know this is the item you want to be able to interact with. 
So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.